okay welcome back kda gang kda fam uh before i do get into the video if you guys could leave a like comment sub all that fun stuff really helps the channel grow and i really do appreciate it and well it helps with the youtube algorithm so if you guys could help a brother out um anyway getting right on into it uh kda so you did end up technically breaking the low and by technically you just broke the low uh plain and simple but how much did it break the low as of right now it broke it by like i don't know maybe like three pube hairs uno dos tres um yeah all right so continuing that the candle that we have for today is quite volatile as you can see right now so if we can actually get this candle keep going up that would actually be a pretty good indication that we are going to continue upwards now what i will also say here is should you or actually uh should you see a closure really above these two right here is what you want to see uh within actually honestly today um and tomorrow if not today then tomorrow otherwise what i think will end up happening is uh one of those candlestick patterns where you have the one long one and then you have the one two three contained and then it just goes uh back down in that same direction so even works for the upside where it's mm, mm. oh wait no i did it wrong <laughs> i did it in reverse so it's one two three and then it heads back on up essentially same thing so um that's what i think would end up playing out should you not get past there but honestly you'd actually even really want to see the closures above uh here as well which is at about 81 cents 30. uh otherwise on the daily time frame let's see if we see anything else um rsi is actually quite low you do have let's see on the daily time frame actually yeah on the daily time frame you do have divergence i wonder if it shows up on the weekly that would be an interesting dunk wouldn't it ain't it in it all right let me just get rid of all that mumbo jumbo right there uh let's take a gander so we can see low lower low let's check it so even there to there so ladies and gentlemen what can we see this just in reporting to you live there is bullish divergence on kadena kda on the weekly time frame what are we seeing right now is potentially that now even if the next six days and 10 hours which is what is left in this week since today is monday should we remain like this for this candle this would look like a doji candle essentially meaning that the momentum slowed down and reversal is most likely however not guaranteed week is still young so this candle could just come straight up should i do that you see it close really above 86 cents you have a bullish engulfing candle and it would be safe to say that you do move up from there now to continue our falling wedge that we have here should you actually end up breaking down lower we do have these other areas that we could look for um if you were to be super technical could potentially have a wick all the way down to about 35 cents um give or take like ever so slightly but if you're to be like saying hey we need to touch that bottom line one more time then i mean go for it um that's all you otherwise if we were to do something like this you could still very well break out from here uh i don't see why not but uh that is your weekly time frame i will go into uh yeah four hour let's see if we see anything necessarily right here any signs of i don't know not dying um do 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 i can get this to work I mean, as of right now, not necessarily. It did just make a even, like, high, essentially. It was slightly higher, but either way, uh, even if we were to invert this really quickly, uh, the point to break, really, is looking at this. I would even say look for closure above 85 cents. Um, just looking at the structure on the four-hour time frame. But other than that, I don't necessarily see anything on here. 
um at least from this breakout point maybe a five wave this would be a b and then c comes up but uh yeah i'd definitely be looking for a closure above that 85 cents if you do end up doing that you could still even come back down a little bit but i think it would ultimately end up being like a higher low and then you'd get that move up but um other than that i would remain definitely cautious but uh you do have that bullish divergence but it is a bit of like a lagging indication and it is tricky to play divergences you have the idea of the divergence it gives you that like little like extra um confluence for like whatever you are looking at but it doesn't tell you exactly uh that's what we tried to piece together and you can even see right here you perfectly tag this one two three six with uh that being like a corrective wave if should it be that but um other than that though that is going to be about it for the video so uh i am going to be looking for closures really above 85 cents 83 cents to 85 cents ideally i want to see 85 cents but um other than that should you end up going lower you really just want to find the prior low over here as your like support essentially so i will put a horizontal line on that and that is at 76 cents 90 so other than that none of this is financial advice these are all just my thoughts and opinions and you guys have a phenomenal day as always adios muchachos